So now I think we want to add in or enable the away team and fix this issue of it controlling a player from each team. Oh, except it's not quite doing that. Oh, it's because I haven't changed the speed of it. It is working. I just, I made a change in my previous video um, that I got to apply to these fellas. I was about to be really confused. Yeah, see, we can control one player from each team. So let's turn that down. <clears throat> or let's fix that, not turn that down. It doesn't even make sense. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, just like in our player, we've got a user bool. We want to do that in our team also. Then... In our player movement, we just want to say if player.user and player.team.user. And that's it. That's... Except, except we also probably want to do it here too. And team.user. Passing and shooting. Team user. So now, I think that should do it. Now we just go back and make the away team, or make the home team, I mean, user. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving me a like as that really does help me out a lot with YouTube's algorithm.